So welcome back everyone, Triple M here, and right here, what you're seeing is all the cameras in my house. Now you're probably thinking, why are we looking at the camera? Well, the reason is, this is on my Amazon Fire TV stick. So on the Fire TV stick, there's an app that's totally free that lets you connect to compatible cameras in your household, control the cameras, view them, you can move it around. If you have PTZ enabled on these cameras, uh, you can do everything that you will normally do on your application. I think this was a pretty cool setup. So this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the application, go through the different features, as well as show you how to add the cameras, what you need to do to get this up and running. So before we jump into it, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Let's go. Now the application that we're looking for is called IP Cam Viewer. Now there's a free and there, there's a paid version. Uh, with the free version, you are gonna be able to add your cameras. You do have limitation on the amount of cameras that you can add. For me personally, I was able to add the six cameras that I have in my household. This also has some ads in the application and it's basically what you're paying for for the paid version is you will remove the ads and also you have the option to get more views as far as your layouts as well as to add uh, a limited amount of cameras. So for me, the free version works, but let me know how you guys have everything set up. So once you download this application, IP Camera Viewer, let's go ahead and open the application. I do have all my cameras loaded. And, and before I show you how to add everything, let's just run through the application uh, just to show you how to navigate it because it does take some getting used to. So I went through, added all the cameras in my house. You can see I have a living room, I have a garage, I also have a driveway, I have my front door, patio, as well as the equipment camera, which I call it in the back. So all these are added. This is the layout. I have but you can play with some other layouts as well so if you hit the menu on the top right you can see there's an upgrade now option now if you click on upgrade now it's going to tell you essentially what comes with the upgrade so you can see remove all the ads get unlimited cameras audio support for some cameras and more features like record mode install paid version in the amazon app store for full functionality and it does uh, give you the option to go ahead and, and read up on it so for me like i said everything's working fine i will see a pop-up every now and again but then i, I I feel like it is good enough for what I'm trying to do. So about my cameras, uh, four of these cameras are still cameras. Two of them are PTZ and uh, the PTZ functions do work fine. So you can see the living room is gonna be PTZ. So if I click on it, you can see it comes in. You do have the PTZ where you can go ahead and play with those settings. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out and all of that works pretty well. It's not gonna be full HD, but uh, it's something. You do have your focus. You can move it up and down, all right, left and right as well. And you can also set some presets on here. So basically all the PTZ functions are fully functional. Uh, you do have the option to take a screenshot and it tells you where that's gonna be safe to and you can set up an email option as well. So pretty cool to go back to your full view, just click on it again. And let me click on it one more time. So you can see for this camera, for instance, I do have a built-in microphone. However, if I press the speaker icon, you can see I need to upgrade to unlock this feature. So that's one of those things that uh, the paid version is gonna provide that the free version is not. Now if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can uh, slide through your different cameras as well. So you can see the garage cam, that's also PTZ. Also I have the driveway, you can see there, front door. I have the patio, the pool area. Also have the back where I, I labeled equipment, but it also shows the pool. So it's a good um, overall view of all the angles of my house. All right, so let's go back to the main view. All right, so that was just the, the in and outs of how to view a camera, how to control the PTZ, which I think they did a really good job. Like I said, if you look in the top of the screen, those are the kind of ads you're gonna see. So it does take some getting used to, but for something like this, where you can put on your living room TV or put on a TV where you can monitor all the cameras with your Fire Stick, I think this is a, a pretty cool application. All right, so if you click on the main menu on the top right, they do have the options for more view. So if you click on more view, you can see we have the gallery view. So let's click on that. And it kind of gives you this view right here where you can um, go down and just scroll through the different cameras, which I think is okay. Um, I believe the view that we're using was the matrix view. So let's try that again. All right, so that's a view I, I like looking at. So those were the views you can recall group. So under more actions, uh, you do have a record mode and it's gonna give you a warning here that, hey, this is gonna turn your Android device into a, um, a DVR SSD. So 
for a fire stick, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but uh, <laughs> uh, for some people who want to tinker, this might be an option. You can see it gives you uh, the status as far as the record mode. You can set the frames per second, amount of space, so on and so forth. Like I said, for some people this might make sense, but for me, I'm not gonna set up um, recording mode on this device. More actions again, you can auto sequence. So basically what it'll do is go through different views. Uh, let's go back. All right. On the mass action, you can turn on all light off, turn off device, MD off, turn on relay off, recall presets. So these are all advanced uh, features that, like I said, if you want to tinker, you do have those advanced options there for you. All right. So manage cameras is one way you can add the camera. So if you click on manage cameras, uh, you can see all the cameras that I've added and that I've named. So uh, you can unselect one, for instance, uh, you can disable it, you can edit it, you can share it, you can clone it, you can delete the camera, or you can show your QR code. So these are the cameras that I've added and essentially to add your cameras, all you gotta do is go down to the bottom, hit the plus button, then go through the setup. So basically these are the settings you need to select. You can see I, I gave my camera a name. Under the make, I, I just left it blank for now, but I guess if you knew the name of the model or the camera, then you can go ahead and um, find it. But I, I find that if you just put unknown brand, it will still find it. Uh, they do have a lot of different models there, as you can see. A ton of different actually. So especially if you have a specialty camera that has PTZ where you can control it, you might want to look for it in this area. So mine's Amcrest, uh, so I'm just going to select Amcrest for this one. All right, so Amcrest, and it's going to ask for a submodel. I think mine was the TM841, so let me just select that. All right, have the IP address, which you will need to get. Not sure how you have your, your system set up or if you have an app that you can connect to, but you are gonna need the IP address. That's one piece of information that you will need, uh, not necessarily the model or the make of the camera. All right, everything else I just left blank. You will need a username and password. When you set up your camera initially, you probably had to put that in and let's go ahead and test the connection. All right, so you can see it automatically detected the port successfully retrieve image from camera. I'm gonna click OK. And let me go ahead and save it. All right, so you can see I have living room. Let's go back. And um, now we should have the living room in there. You do have the option to export, import. So the cool thing about this is that once you export or import it, uh, if you had another device, for instance, you can just import those settings. That way you don't have to go through the setup again. So that's probably something to look into. If you click on the folder option, you can uh, save your group, delete group, add home screen icon. So you have some different options there as well. So if you go to the right, hit that button. What this allows you to do is essentially organize how the cameras should show up. So as far as if you have a preference of which camera shows first, second third so on and so forth so for the most part my cameras all of them have a username and password they also have an IP address and that's gonna be the the only tricky part like I said like if you don't have this information that's something you are gonna have to look for whether it's logging into your router or going to the application if you manage your cameras that way or uh, most cameras for the most part is gonna have an initial setup where you select an IP address you have a, a login username and password so once you find that information add in your cameras to to this application is going to be pretty straightforward uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section is this something you find yourself using for me i know that i sometimes when i'm downstairs i'll just put it up on the tv or put it up in the living room that way i can just kind of at a quick glance see what's going on around the house if this video helped you smash the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one